Hi folks, welcome to WCW Science with Dr. G and today we have an awesome, awesome lesson in non-Newtonian fluids. Now this is a nice big elastic word, but it's so much fun. And all you need today is a bit of cornstarch, which you can find that in your kitchen, a bit of water, put that together and you have an awesome mix, which scientists refer to as non-Newtonian fluids. So all, all I do to get this mixture right is to add the entire box of uh, cornstarch into a preparation bowl, just like that. And to that powder, all I want to do is add about 300 ml of water to that, about 1.2 cups uh, of water. So here we go, very quickly, just like that. And be prepared to get stuck into it. So here we go. 1.2 cups of water there and get both hands in there and go crazy yeah and what you'll notice is as we move your hands as you move your hands through this mixture something strange happens if you go very quickly it behaves like a liquid but if you go very slowly then you actually feel clumps of that stuff sticking onto your hand as if it was a solid and that's a characteristic of what we call non-Newtonian fluids. Now that looks really bland and one-dimensional. And if you add a bit of color in there, you're just gonna throw in a few drops of food coloring, just one spink, and you have a nice, beautiful, colorful non-Newtonian fluid. Hi folks, we're back and I have uh, just made up my non-Newtonian fluid. So remember what we have here, cornstarch with the right uh, ratio of water, together with a, uh, a bit of blue food coloring, just to spice it up a bit. So if you notice very carefully, um, if I try to move the tray very slowly, then it acts like a liquid. And if I move that very quickly, it wants to, it actually behaves as a solid. Now here's something very interesting as well. It's a liquid, if you think about this very carefully, I'm gonna stick my finger in there, and you notice that my finger sinks all the way to the bottom. I can actually feel the bottom of the tray there. But what would happen if I punch the surface of this? And now you've got to be really careful here. So with, all, with that splash up into my face, let's have a go. Wow. No, but have a look at this. If I go very slowly, there we go. You'd find that my fist sinks to the bottom of the tray. So the way the non-Newtonian fluid actually works is that it behaves as if it were solid under pressure, right? And as you remove the pressure, it assumes the identity of a liquid. I have a coin over here, one over this. And if I throw this coin onto the surface, I could actually bounce the coin off the surface, right? You've seen that. And as the coin comes to rest on the surface, it slowly disappears. How cool is that? Have a look at that. Gone. Yes. Yes. Something else. Grab a, grab some of that non-Newtonian fluid. All right. It's interesting. Make one of those pseudo spheres that I would like to call. And watch this really cool. It's got nothing to do with the temperature of my hand or body temperature. It's got to do with the pressure. So I'm applying a pressure. I'm able to create this little pseudo sphere. But watch what happens as I release that. And once that pressure decreases, it turns into a liquid. All right, that's quite awesome. So let's try that again. I mean, this is lots and lots of fun. Again, a nice little sphere. You can actually see that it's behaving as a, a solid, just like that. And um, this would be a really nice shot. And then release that pressure and wow, look at that. Now don't make the mistake of squeezing that because it'll remain as a solid if I go like that. But if I release that pressure, it turns into a liquid. Now, we've seen some of this stuff around the house as well. The closest thing that you could come to uh, what I would like to call a pseudo-Newtonian fluid is basically tomato sauce or what some of you would call tomato sauce or ketchup. And uh, also, what about makeup? All right. If you look at foundation, if you apply the foundation very quickly over the face, it runs smoothly, but if you go very slowly, it sort of holds back 
and see if there's lots of friction. Don't even ask me how I know that. All right, so that's excellent. Hi guys, just to leave you with one little thought so that you sleep with one eye open tonight, you may have come across the fizzer. It's one of my favorite sweets, uh, pretty intense in glucose uh, content, but you find something very interesting about this. Um, if you apply a very small force to the fizzer, you'd be able to stretch it, you'd be able to twist it, it's pliable, it almost acts as if it's a non-Newtonian solid, but interestingly enough, and you can try this as well, it does get a bit messy. If you give the fizzer quite a snap, say onto a hard surface, you notice something really interesting happening. So if you go like this, actually the fizz inside starts to shatter into several pieces. Why does it do that? So hopefully you love this video. Please um, comment. Uh, please send us a video of what your version of a Newtonian fluid is. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, WTW Science. Like, subscribe, and hey, you know what? Look forward to the next video. Thank you.